Good morning, Robert Curry again, Innovative Air Solutions. I'd like to continue our series that we've been talking about, about duct and system design. One of the biggest areas that we see uh, recently, some things that we've encountered, have been new home construction. New homes uh, typically will have the cheapest uh, contractor that they can have come in and do the air conditioning system, and usually there are horrific results that, that, that come about on that. Uh, last week, we changed out a system in a three-year-old home. We had to completely uninstall the, in the indoor equipment, relocate it, and reduct the entire home. Uh, due to missizing, uh, due to a lot of other factors, we had uh, basically a five-ton unit in a house that required two and a half tons. And in addition, they had rooms that they could not heat and cool. Uh, so we really had a lot of issues in this house we had to go back with. Uh, we, uh, due to uh, cost constraints, the customer was selling a home. We ended up just moving the system that they had, knowing it was too large, reducting it, and then having to add ducts uh, to allow for proper airflow. And uh, so certainly it's another successful job that we've done. Uh, another uh, job we're working on right now, you'll see some videos in a, in a later uh, uh, section of this series of a home where we also had to do the same thing. This house is probably six years old. Uh, the same thing, uh, this is a very, very large duct system. Uh, and it's just, uh, this, this one's just gonna be a, a mess to have to deal with, but we're also having to relocate the inside unit, uh, move everything completely to the center of the home to try and get this thing right. So. Uh, you will see many, many things out there. Hopefully we can give you enough information where at least you have some, some starter starting points to look at and uh, some things that you know that you need to go to before determining you have a system problem. Robert Curry, Innovative Air Solutions, thank you.